Schools closed for the next few weeks. The Centerline School District is taking an unprecedented action to try to make students uh, in need get fed. Our Kim DiGiulio shows us how workers there are bringing breakfast and lunch to the bus stops. You won't find any children on school buses for the next couple of weeks, but here in Warren, they're still finding good use of these school buses. Now to deliver lunches. It's got to come a long ways. Centerline Public Schools kitchen staff did what they always do for work, feed the students. However, this time they packed up the school bus at Peck Elementary and got on the road. We have packed over a thousand meals throughout our district for breakfast and lunch and we are going to distribute them by a bus route. They were unsure how many kids would come for the meals, but they were ready. People coming. Yay! The turnout was overwhelming. Hi guys. We're going to come right out to you. Right out to you. Yes, oh my god. I can cry right now, but I'm going to hold it in. Because I have kids of my own, so I, can, I know how it is to just not know when the kids are going to get something to eat. Students and parents were lined up at each bus stop, ready to get their meals. If this wasn't happening around, these kids wouldn't be eating. You're picking up your lunch? Yeah? Milk, cookies, and chicken, and bread, and a juice. And while some of these kids may not be starving at home, it certainly helps moms like Shinita, who has recently been unable to get enough groceries to feed her family. And I went shopping last night and I mean, it's the, sh the shelves are bare. The district will continue this service while schools are closed, even delivering multiple meals on Friday to keep the kids fed throughout the weekend. I'm getting so much joy out of this, just so the, seeing the kids happy that they get to eat. Centerline schools are just one school district doing something like this, but there's plenty of them. So for a list of schools that are distributing food during these next couple of weeks, you can visit our website at clickondetroit.com. In Warren, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. And they ended up serving 805 meals today, so they plan to prep 1,500 meals for tomorrow in anticipation of more students taking advantage. There's going to be a lot of meals needed over these weeks then. Yeah. I know. There's a lot.